confusion reigns as gunshots ring out. These were the scenes early on Sunday as shots were heard across several military camps in Burkina Faso. In Ouagadougou, heavy fire broke out at Camp Sangule Lamazana, which houses the army's general staff. There was also reported gunfire at a military camp in Kaya, around 100 kilometers north of Ouagadougou, as well as Waiguya, situated 180 kilometers northwest of the capital. As the day wore on, protesters came out in their masses in support of the soldiers. They looted and torched the headquarters of President Rock Kabore's ruling party. They are demanding a change in government, particularly when it comes to Kabore. A tweet from the president on Sunday afternoon, not to address the situation, but to wish the Burkina Faso football team luck ahead of their African Cup of Nations clash on Sunday. Dear Stallions, the nation renews its encouragement and support. Continue to draw on your resources of discipline and talent and bring honour to the nation this Sunday. Rising violence in the West African country by Islamist militants killed over 2,000 people last year. This led to violent street protests in November. Additional demonstrations that were planned for Saturday were banned. The police intervened as hundreds of people gathered in Ouagadougou using tear gas and arresting many. Mobile internet services have been banned several times over the past few months, with a UN special envoy sent to West Africa to warn against any military takeover. This latest development follows successful coups over the last 18 months in Mali and Guinea. Now a French soldier 